independent, independent skeptical, yeah. and flexible. Millennials. Risk taker, <laughs> ambitious, and self centered. <laughs> the self centered one is actually chose, but. What? China's global dominant. <laughs> yeah, all involved in that Hollywood Diddy drama. Hi like... guys, I'm from Gen Z Brit Maturist. Mine is gonna be checking out generation, generation comparison from 1901 to 2024. So this video is basically gonna be detailing some key characteristics of each generation. And I'll be very curious to see if whether you guys agree or disagree, whoever's watching, whatever generation you may be watching this from. Um, with what is said in the video guys of course of course if you love these kind of videos make sure you smash that like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification so you don't miss another one of these videos and of course, of course guys look this video is coming from uh nerd Boss channel so obviously the original video will be linked in the description and of course to check them out if you haven't already i've got a music channel for those of you guys wondering if you want to check out me checking out some you know classics you know from people like the beatles the Bee Gees, the righteous brothers led zeppelin it's all gonna go on that channel and of course look i've got a patreon where you can get exclusive bonus content as well as early access to some of these videos so if you guys love this one to support the channel that'd be a great way to do so and guys look with that being said Let's get straight into the video. Let's go. Living yeah, generations oh. explained. He said it for me. Greatest generation refers to the generation of people mm -hmm. born between 1901 to 1927. The people of this generation are now right, 94 right. to 120 years old. Damn. That's the last. I feel like they're the last living generation. Silent generation refers to the generation of people born between 1928 to 1945. Mm -hmm. The people of this generation are now 76 to 93 years old. Okay, okay. So you got Baby ages. boomers refers to the generation of people born between 1946 to 1964. The people of this generation are now 57 to 75 years old. Nice, nice, nice. Just the different ages. Generation X refers to the generation of people born between 1965 to 1980. The people yeah, of this yeah, yeah. generation are now 41 to 56 years old. Bear in mind, this is uh, this video must have came out like three years ago or two years ago, because yeah, uh, it's obviously a bit different now, but still very similar, not too long. Millennials refers to the generation of people born between 1981 to 1996. The people of this generation are now 25 to 40 years old. Right, 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 right. Generation Z refers to the generation of people born between 1997 oh, to 2012. The that's people of this generation right are now 9 to 24 years old. Come on, come on. Getting older now. Generation Alpha refers to the generation of people born between 2013 to 2024. The people of this generation are now eight years old and under. Generation These are some of the characteristics of the greatest generation. Disciplined, determined, and resilient. Okay. That's that World War One and Two. These are some of the characteristics of the silent generation. Traditional, Traditional. patient, and responsible. Okay. I've heard some of that. These are some of the characteristics of baby boomers. Competitive, competitive, confident, and sociable. Hmm. These are some of the characteristics of Generation X. Independent, Independent yeah. skeptical, and yeah. flexible. That's facts. That's actually facts. These are some of the characteristics of Millennials. Risk taker, <laughs> ambitious, and self-centered. <laughs> the self-centered one is actually chose, but that's so sad when I do hear people talk about quite a bit. And I feel like the millennials get the most flack from like in talking about generational um differences they definitely get the most like maybe a lot of it is self-inflicted though but risk taker and ambitious okay. characteristics right. of millennials risk taker risk -taker. ambitious and self-centered yeah okay these are some of the characteristics of generation z Ooh. creative open-minded oh, and sensitive all right that's facts that's facts i agree with that the i can say that you know open-minded uh yeah definitely especially nowadays um creative yeah sure say that and sensitive yeah yeah mental health is more of a thing of course so you know, open-minded and sensitive sense. it makes sense these are some of the characteristics of generation alpha logical logical objective and self-aware mate these these 
these carrot twists are coming for like from like babies. Like how are babies like logical objects in the self where they be crying all the time, man? Where's the where's the <laughs> where's the logic in that? They're all emotional. These are some stuffs from the era of the greatest generation. Old nah, Oldsmobile curved sorry. dash, yo-yo, and piano roll. Piano? What is that? These are some stuffs from the era of the silent generation. Ford, Ford Model T, Slinky, and Radio. Slinky's a silent generation thing. And even these Ford model uh, cars, yeah, I remember seeing like a 1930s video and they were all the, they were the only brand of, or type of cars I saw. So I feel like at this time, whoever was like, well, this one cars really, no, 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 no. Like, at least I, I remember seeing these types of cars and it was the only types of cars I would see, which is interesting. Like the only one. These are some stuffs from the era of baby boomers. Baby boomers Ford there. Mustang, Frisbee, and record player. Vinyl records, yeah. These are some stuffs from the era of Generation X. Holden oh, Commodore, yeah. Rubik's Cube, and Walkman. I've seen that, I've seen that, yeah, more like what, you you put cassettes tape thingies in that, Walkman. Right, I've seen Boombox that you can put your mixtapes in. See, I'm learning these things as I'm doing more of these videos. Like, I, I, it's, I feel like this is not as, like, you know, foreign to me as it once was. A Rubik's Cube, I also didn't realise it was a 1970s, like, slash Gen X thing, but it turns out it was. And uh, Holden Com Commodore, I'd, I'd, I recognised those cars when I was really young, but... So my dad had probably one of those, or I was probably drive remember seeing those when I was young, but not anymore like that. These are some stuffs from the era of millennials. Toyota okay. Prius, Beyblade, and iPod. <laughs> Beyblade, iPod. Afterwards. These are some stuffs from the era of Generation Z. Speaker. Honda S2000, Bakugan, and Smart Speaker. Your time is flying by, man. These are some stuffs from the era of Generation Alpha. Tesla Cybertruck, Fidget Spinner, and AirPods. Okay, no, fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. These are the iconic hairstyles of the greatest generation. These are oh, the yeah, I need to get a close up on these, you know. Greatest generation, yeah. All of these man with a slick back, and then the women. I don't know what you call this hairstyle, just fringe. Okay. These are the iconic hairstyles of the greatest Makes generation. Sense. I want to see what. These are the iconic hairstyles of the silent generation. That makes sense. These are the iconic hairs. Oh, uh, the silent generation had great hairstyles, man. Yeah, they. This is. I feel like this is where the hairstyles really start to peak. Iconic hairstyles of the silent generation. Just. These are the iconic yes. hairstyles of baby boomers. Very, look, they look These are the looking. iconic hairstyles of Generation X. Yeah, man, that's that. That's that. Um, that's that Led Zeppelin. That's that. That's that Led Zeppelin influence. All that rock music influence here. That's what that is, isn't it? That's. I bet you that's what that is. This. Is, I feel like the hairstyle starts to get a little bit more, you know, a bit crazier. Um, a little bit less classy, but still, you know, expressive. You know, you guys, let me know what you think of it. These are the iconic hairstyles of Generation X. Millennials. These are the iconic hairstyles of millennials. Yeah. These are the iconic hairstyles of Generation Z. Uh, yeah. These are the iconic hairstyles of Generation Alpha. Yeah. These are some I, of the most popular idols of the. Th from millennials to Gen Alpha, I mean, I've, is there a really iconic hairstyle? I think everything is just all over the place i feel like back then you could probably pinpoint it more so because things weren't as diverse and it's like you can kind of see the more common ones more often if, even i've seen black people with hairstyles that look like the same ones similar ones with white like slip back hairstyles like so at least from like the the greatest generation and the uh the boomer silent generation period but then after that after gen after gen x i feel like things just started getting complicated generation alpha these are some the of the most idols. popular idols of the greatest generation. Charlie Chaplin, okay. Charlie Chaplin, Gloria Swanson, and F. Scott Fitzgerald. Did he? Did he do it? Is he um, Ella Fitzgerald's wife? I mean, husband. Because Fitzgerald's same surname, right? Unless it's just a common surname. Because I don't know who they, who he is. These are some of the most popular idols of the silent generation. Ramone, Elvis James. Presley, Marilyn Monroe, and James Dean. Recognize these two. I don't know who James Dean is. These are some of the most popular idols of baby boomers. John Lennon, John Lennon Mick Jagger, yeah. and Bob Dylan. Okay. Okay, that, yeah. Music. These are some of the most popular idols of Generation X. Michael Jackson, Jackson Madonna, and Kurt Cobain. The, the names are starting to become more familiar for me now. These are some of the most popular idols of millennials. Yeah. 
Beyonce, Justin Bieber, and Taylor Swift. Yeah, all involved in that Hollywood Diddy drama. I love that. <laughs> That's a crazy joke. That's a crazy joke. These are some of the most popular idols of Generation Z. I don't love that. I, that was a joke. Don't love that at all. Not condoning any any of the stuff I've been hearing about. Not condoning none of that. Just want to make that clear before anyone takes that out of context. These are some of the most popular idols of Generation Z. Yeah. John yeah. Gook, Lisa, and Billie Eilish. I don't even know who John Gook is. Cook is though. Or Lisa. These are some of the most popular idols of Generation Alpha. Ryan Kaji, Anastasia Radzinskaya, and Brooklyn Prince. They gotta be like kids' channels. These are some of the most popular cartoons of the greatest generation. Felix the Cat. Felix the Cat, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and Mickey Mouse. Okay. These are I some know. of the most popular cartoons of the silent generation. Wow. Donald Duck, Tom and Jerry, and Bugs Bunny. Tom and Jerry was a silent generation thing, and Donald Duck, okay. Donald Duck, Tom and Jerry, and Bugs Bunny. Yeah, I'm not, I was not expecting that. These are some of the most popular cartoons of baby boomers. The Flintstones, the Pink Panther, and Winnie the Pooh. These cartoons go back. These are some of the most popular cartoons of Generation X. Oh wow. Scooby-Doo, Doryman, and Garfield. Okay. These are some of the most popular cartoons of millennials. Right. The Simpsons, SpongeBob SquarePants, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are some of the most popular cartoons of Generation Z. Yeah, yeah. Adventure guess, Time, yeah. Gumball, and Rick and Morty. I watch all of them. These are some of the most popular cartoons of Generation Alpha. We <laughs> Bear Bears, Close Enough, wow. and Solar Opposites. I feel like the cartoons are just becoming so much more like, uh, just pro progressive. Like they're just like way more just, I don't know, but like people, I don't know how to explain it. Like you got this is random. I just I feel like you can get cartoons for Gen Alpha are just so random. I don't know. You could have generation cartoons on anything nowadays. Like we bear bears close enough and solar opposites. These are some of the most popular fictional heroes of the greatest generation. Tarzan, Zorro, Wall. Tarzan, and Flash Gordon. Flash. Okay. These are some of the most popular fictional heroes of the Silent Generation. Lone Ranger, Batman, and Zorro. Okay, I just thought... Baby These are some of the most popular fictional heroes of Baby Boomers. Superman, Batman, and James Bond. Mm -hmm. Okay, Baby Boomers had a solid lineup of fictional heroes right here, man. In my opinion, obviously, I probably don't know the ones prior to that as much, so I'm hella biased. These are some of the most Wonder popular Hatch fictional Hatch heroes of Generation X. So do Gen X, man. Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. Solid lineup, solid lineup. These are some of the most popular fictional heroes of millennials. Okay. Power Rangers, Spider Man, and Batman. Power Rangers in the club now, okay. These are some of the most popular fictional heroes of Generation Z. Then Iron Man, over. Captain America, and Thor. Okay, okay, alright. These are some of the most popular fictional heroes of Generation Alpha. Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Batman has been about, man. These are some of the events that took place during the prime years of the greatest generation. Okay. Yeah, that is he. The, the greatest say, generation. Uh, the Great Depression, World War II, invented of, invention of television. Like, the, those are some intensely defining periods, man. That is, God, the greatest generation of God went for a lot. Damn. These are some of the events that took place during the prime years of the Silent Generation. JFK assassinated, yeah. Mainland, These are board. some of the events that took place during the prime years of Baby Boomers. Wait. These are some of the events that took place during the prime years wait, of... Wait, 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 wait. Invention of PC, invention of the internet. Oh, prime years. Okay, so this is, they would have been like in their 30s and around and that. Okay, so, okay, it's making sense. I'm like, wait a second, aren't these like shifted... A little bit, but no, okay, prime years. <clears throat> These are some of the events that took place during the prime years of Generation X. Right, when they're all started becoming, yeah, 9 11. These are some of the events that took place during the prime years of yeah. millennials. COVID, especially. These are some of the events that took place during the prime years of Generation Z. What? 
China's global dominant. Okay, the rise. Of I feel like he's just now just making stuff up now because twenty twenty two to twenty thirty seven. The yeah, this guy's trolling, man. This guy's trolling. These are some of the events that took place during the prime years of Generation Z. The majority of us aren't even in our prime years yet, like so I don't understand. These are some of the events that took place during the prime years of Generation Alpha. Okay, so this is the, these are predictions. Electric car domination, the fall of the industry. Which industry? Oh, oil industry, I can't read. Sorry, and then first humans on Mars. Okay, interesting predictions. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Okay, okay, towards the end, I was like, China's of the silent global generation. Domination. China's global domination. These are some of the jokes. next during the. Okay, <laughs> I was like, when did that AI definitely is rising? But yeah, okay, this that was an interesting video, but I thought I'd just do a little deep dive into kind of the comparisons and to see kind of the key characteristics. Um, whatever period you guys were born and you uh, you were watching this, let me know if you agree with a lot of the things that were said in here or you disagree, or maybe if there were some things that you feel like might have been left out. I'll be very curious to see what you guys have to say. But me personally, being a Gen Z on what they said, other than these predictions, I, I feel like they were somewhat accurate. And I didn't really. I don't, I, can't, I don't know about the... Which one was it? I don't know about... Like, cartoon, sure. There was one in here that I was like... Ooh, I don't know about that. Don't know about that. It was... um, I can't freaking find it. Either way, there was... I feel like it was... I feel like it was decent, but... I feel like if you made this point, comment on a white heart so I know who my rules are. He didn't just click off the video as soon as it ended. And of course, guys, like, as always, I'm the boy Flex. This has been the greatest, the generation comparison story. For those of you guys who made it to this point, you guys have been absolutely wonderful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.